one thing that we wanted to differentiate ourselves a little bit is, yes, 3D is everywhere, absolutely. 3D environments are getting to be everywhere. We can create those realistic 3D environments. We're going to show you how you can bring in buildings so that you can create this incredibly looking realistic environment. But again, what I want you to take away here is that our GIS is the capability that's driving a lot of this. So that's what I'm concentrating my efforts on. You can see some of that. The build, we'll talk about some of the buildings. Oh, I forgot I had that. Oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. OK. So now I lost my train of thought. What was I doing? Screw the building. Okay, no buildings. OK. So in this particular case, what I wanted to demonstrate is, again, more of this idea of the GIS actually driving my data sources. So I, again, I, I'm working with incident analyst stuff, and I have all of these points. And in incident analysts, we often want to look at points by something called police beats, because they want to be able to find out how many 911 calls are coming into each police beat, so that they can actually target their resources in those particular areas. So I used a command inside of GeoMedia to simply say, count all the points that fell within each and every one of those areas, and then go and thematically do it with the translucency sitting here, and in this particular case, I'm going to extrude by the number of calls. It's meters, but I could have done centimeters, whatever. It's really irrelevant at this point, right? Because it's a numerical value that's not really high. Right? And then, of course, here I just got this, the standard point symbols that are happening here as well. And there's a push pin. We'll let do that. But the key component here is, is that thematic that's being driven right there. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead. And I'm going to display off the lower stuff because I don't really all that interested in it. I really want to target just those high areas, those areas experiencing the most 911 calls. Those are the areas that I'm most interested in. Now, when you look at it from a planier view, you'll see a lot of red areas, right? You'll see them right in that area right there. And it's hard to tell of those red areas which one's experiencing the most 911 calls. But remember, we're in 3D now, right? So now what I can do is all of a sudden, the area that's getting the most calls is the one that's popping out we're seeing that we weren't seeing before. And again, since we're in GeoMedia, I can certainly turn those off, I can change their colors, I can do whatever. So I'm just going to, again, display off, display those off, display those ones off, and now we are able to say, hey, that's definitely an area of interest in our particular case that we're interested in looking at. Okay? Again, I'm really driving this home that it's the GIS data. So if you have a corporate database that you're running and you're using GeoMedia as a mechanism to drive all of your data through GeoMedia, just think of what you can now do with GeoMedia 3D. Okay?